that it is my pleasure to invite young, dynamic, and the future of the real estate business, Zexon. Join me, please. Morning, morning, morning. Congratulations to you, Zexon. Very briefly, can you just share with the rest of us your real estate journey? How old are you? You look so young. I'm 20, uh, 30 this year. Oh, you still oh, wish I you are 20 plus, plus huh? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's nice, that's nice. Okay, you are 30, right? Still 30? Yeah. yeah, this year. Okay, fine. That's nice. You look so young. How people even trust you? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> okay. You never expect <laughs> me to ask that question, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, fine. Never mind. Let, let's okay. How many years have you been in the real estate business? I've been in the industry since 2014, which means uh, coming... Uh, next year will be my eighth year in the industry. Eight year, and you are just thirty and eight year in the business. Did you ever get a chance to work in other fields or what? Uh, bef uh, after I ORD, actually, I worked in Singpost uh, to sell admin services, your flyer services to small companies. Okay. Then, but shortly after I passed my exam, so that's when I start and came into real estate. Okay, so you you uh, graduate of the RES the, under the CEA requirement, right? Right. Okay, fine. Did you pass the first time? No, I took four times. Four times. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> give a round of applause for perseverance. Okay, for all the real estate wannabes, don't just give up. If you fail the first or the second time, sometimes let me tell you, it may not even be your fault. I, as your CEO, if I sit for the RES, there's no guarantee I will pass. Okay, because it's so complicated these days. Okay, but having said that, hmm, so you have been in the real estate business for almost all the time after your army, right? Almost, yeah. yep. And um, um, just want to understand, Looking at your performance, impressive. You have close to 100 downlines. Yep. Uh, and as well as your commission received is close to half a million dollars. My question here is this How do you manage your sales and look after a group of 100 people? And maybe you, and before that, did you join Propnex from the start? Uh. How was your journey in real estate about? Actually, before Promnex, I actually joined two companies. Okay. So, uh, five months after I ORD, I cleared my exam, I passed my exam. Then back then, I joined one of the bigger company uh, in the industry back then. But today, the company is no longer uh, in the industry, merged with the company. Um, I was there for about one year plus. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, within my first six months, I actually faced quite a bit of difficulties. If I remember correctly, I only closed a whole uh, room renter. Okay. Whole uni room rent, a whole uni renter at two thousand five dollars. Mm. So for six months after the company cut, I only took back one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. So uh, that was when I was thinking maybe I should explore my other options. Maybe also explore into the private market. That's when after one year I shift to my second company, also one of the largest company in the real estate, and then I stayed for another good one year plus. So you were saying that. Uh after five months um, from ROD, uh, you joined a smaller company yep. and that company no more exists, right? right. Well, actually, not a small company, it's a big company also, yep. but it's already merged with another bigger company and they don't yes. exist anymore. And you went on to one of the, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, if you say about four and five years ago, you joined then the largest company yes. in Singapore. Correct. Hmm. Right, so back then, that was the choice for people to go to like they will switch company back then back then back then <laughs> okay fine and you were there for how long were you there i was there for about one year plus okay but my intention of moving to that company is very different mm -hmm. because of my struggles in my first company when i moved to the next one i told myself that i would definitely want to build a team or training system that can avoid anybody to repeat the struggles that i had back then okay so uh, the one year i spent there was more about team building reaching out to people so I had about 10 agents, hmm. but the one year plus was a, a very tiring What was one the year. real struggle? You see, a lot of new agents, a lot of people who join always have this, yeah. and you went through yourself. Yeah. And, and what are some of the big struggles people face? So boss, I'm not sure you remember last time, there's no such thing as PA app, yeah. calculator, nothing. Yeah. So our financial calculation, uh, we have to write on a piece of paper, yeah. step by step yeah. timeline. Yeah. So imagine I have to do that to each and every one of the new agents coming in. Yeah. To me, I, I will be sacrificing a lot of time on my personal sales mm -hmm. and while I'm spending time on another agent, another one of my agents will be neglected. Okay. And then back then, I was more HDB based, okay. which means I also have to go door knock one by one. Okay. So as I go by, as the leader gets tired, 
mm. the team gets tired as well. Okay. So the team sales start to drop, okay. and then personal sales start and to drop as well. And what made you to switch to PropNet? Actually, there was no intention to switch until Marcus talked to me on Marcus Loa talked to me on Instagram. Okay. So it was a random text from Instagram. We were chatting, and then he invited me for coffee at uh, Dempsey. I remember, if okay. I'm not wrong. Okay. But within five hours, mm. five hours, I had a coffee of five hours with me. I was so impressed mm. of the decks and the support and the direction given by the company and Marcus himself. And actually, within the weekend, I got almost my whole team to move over to Promnex okay. back then in two okay. zero one seven. Okay. Right. Yep. Two zero one seven to be precise. 10th June 2017. Yes. Yeah. And, and even when you say at that time, how many people cross over only? Uh, out of 10, 9 of them actually uh, okay. came over, thankfully. Okay, so it's still a single digit. Yes. And right now you have got 90 over people with you Correct. within a short period of, let's say, five years yep. from nine people and 90 over is 1000% increase in terms of the hit count. And how do you allocate time? And you still have to do personal sales and as well as to build your team. and how do you make time? I think what went right when I came over to Promnex was the culture of the company is very clear. It's more about empowering people, empowering managers uh, to actually share their knowledge and impart their knowledge. So actually, we learn through sharing. So that's when, when my first manager came in, second manager came in, I start to empower them, like how the company empower me, to get them to train their agents mm. so that I can, uh, we can actually dedicate our time more efficiently. That's when actually today, uh, within my Team 90 Plus, we have about 14 to 15 managers as well, and one team leader, which is Teddy. Oh, so okay. that's how I believe how our managers and leaders manage to continue to do our sales, but as well the team continue to grow. Okay, that's definitely impressive uh, as far as how you have managed to build. And I also realised uh, recently, when Propnex launched our RES chapter, yep, and uh, uh, we had a lot of candidates in mind, and eventually uh, you got appointed to be one of the committee member. And if I'm not mistaken, you are the youngest committee member. And let me tell you, always when you are young, when you especially go into any committee, it's not the best. You know why? <laughs> Kena arrowed the most. <laughs> and I remember, and, and for the rest of you, when we were having a meeting at the boardroom, uh, we were selecting the chairperson and on, on the training uh, leader and whatever it is. And one job which was the most difficult and the, I would say the dirty job, we were looking for a secretary. Who want to be the secretary for the RES chapter? Since everybody was quiet, Zekson put up his head and said, okay, let me volunteer to be the secretary. That's what, if you are young, you have to do. And I think that's the right thing. Can I just say, how do you feel being part of the committee and what's your belief about being in, about this whole RES chapter is all about? Uh, firstly, I'm very honoured and thankful to have this opportunity to be part of the chapter. And most importantly, is to represent the voice of our salesperson, not just in Promnex, but the whole industry as well. Um, my experience for the past one month within a chapter is actually very amazing. Just to share with everybody, for the past one month, even we have just started, we, have meetings, we are meetings with um, the management in Promnex itself to find out how can we improve the training structure or look into the fair contract issues. Or, there are so many things that we talk about and I'm actually really happy and surprised that how open and how receptive the management is. For example, yesterday we just had a meeting with uh, Eddie about mm -hmm. our training structure and we were just giving some feedbacks from the ground and to, after the meeting, after 10 minutes, uh, uh, our AVP messaged me straight away, tell me I will carry out the changes, some of the changes, changes right now. So I'm actually very happy that our voices are being heard through this chapter itself. And I really hope that through this chapter, more of our voices will be heard, not just by the company, but by the industry or even in the bigger picture. Yeah. And slowly within the company will improve as one, but most importantly to improve the industry as well. So I really hope that many more of our prompt actions will come on board into this chapter and help us uh, make a better and basically a better industry, like real estate sure. industry. No, okay. really appreciate that section. And for mm. those people who are right now listening uh, and those people who are even right here uh, as an audience, physical presence, just let me tell you, if you are not, have yet to be a member of this RES chapter, it's a big loss. It's a very, very big loss. I'll tell you the reason why. In the whole of Singapore, Propnex is one and the only company that has got a chapter. A chapter works like a union and it is your voice are heard 
as loud as for the rest of the industry and as well to protect you. I mean, can you imagine when we came out with a fair contract, we discussed with the chapter committee members and that's where Propnex has come out with new initiatives such as even when a day if any of our leader or manager leave Propnex for whatever reason, we don't want to be unhappy about it. We want to bless them and we want to continue to give their override for the project sales. Yeah? And as well as a team leader or team manager override. And let me tell you, there are many companies out there dare not do this. Even after we implemented, believe me, Zexon, people are saying that, oh, conditional. There are companies who say that if my leader, my project leader, or my team leader, or a manager leave my company, I will set up a homecoming account, which means I will keep all the money in the homecoming account, and that could be hundred, two hundred thousand dollars as a project leader, provided you come back to my company again within 12 months, I will give you. If you don't come back within 12 months, you don't deserve. Is that fair contract? How can that be fair when a leader works so hard to guide his people, fight a battle in the front, we can there at the show unit or the project for the company to bring the revenue for the company, and when the leader or the manager for whatever reason decides to move and you make it conditional and you say that is fair contract. To me, it's ridiculous. People need to understand. We are committed, Zexon, together with the committee to change the industry. Propnex will go out there to make sure the industry become more professional and be fair because we want to protect all salespeople. Okay, a couple of things, just last one or two things just I want to just ask you here is this. Uh, thank you so much for your impressive performance, being consistent in building your team and adding value and contributing to the industry in your little way. How do you think the future of the real estate with all the younger salesperson joining the industry? What should one sh do in order to keep them being active and also to get them to be part of this industry or the business? Uh, based on my experience coming in the real estate industry, uh, being young is not an easy task like what, what you mentioned earlier how do the client actually trust you if you, are, you look so young so in my opinion number one the first thing is to always leverage on what the company provides and gives you for example our consumer seminar I think we are one of the company that provides one of the most consumer seminars back to back our trainings are all recorded uploaded into the VO actually any agents that actually join uh, they will not be missing any of the trainings conducted six months or even months ahead so most importantly as a young agent come in with an open heart most importantly be humble watch all the consumer seminars catch all the knowledge within real estate as fast as possible because whenever you talk sense to the client we are saying things that the client actually don't understand or maybe they, they are not being exposed to exposed to that's when you position yourself differently as an agent regardless of your age okay so basically being professional knowledgeable value add and for all salespeople, actually it is not even young, you know. I tell you, what is important, whether young agents or agents is in the industry for the last 10 years, 15 years, it's better for you to go here and join us and participate in various consumer seminars, either Kelvin Fong, myself, Eddie, Yong Hock, whoever it is. There are many leaders based on their specialization also talk about it. It's for you to equip your knowledge and that's definitely important. My last question to you, Zekson, here is this. Is there anyone that you want to say a big thank you? Are you still married or single? Uh, engage. Engage, okay, so no value. Right? <laughs> half, okay. half single. Okay, half so, single. okay, okay. So, so for now, no. for now. Okay, can, no, I cannot promote you anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, never mind. Is there anybody that you want to say uh, thank or any fine positive words? Um, definitely my parents because I'm the only child. So my parents are already 60 plus this year. And uh, when I came to the industry, they are already 50 plus, mid 50s. So for their only child to go into a sales job at that age is actually, if I would think back, uh, they should be quite worried. Uh. But from day one till today, they have never ever... Especially, you go to sales and in the first six months earn $2,500. <laughs> if I am a father looking at my son for all I brought up, what? Uh, $2,500 divided by six months is $400. I, I mean, I, you are totally right. right. As a parent, because we support the child upbringing, we want the child to succeed. Correct. And, and I remember you said one of your motivation to come into real estate what was the main reason? It was because I'm the only child and to me that 
being the only child is my responsibility to provide for my parents, especially at their age. And to be very, very honest, I don't come from a very well-to-do family, an average family. So what I really want is to go into industry that can allow me to have the income to prepare for their retirement. I think that's my priority. But of course, like the first six months, I still don't know how they stay so positive when I only make 1007. But I think that's what parents do. They don't really share how their worries, but keep me going. So like what I mentioned, from day one till the day, they have never ever asked me to quit real estate no matter during my, my downtime or any time that I'm feeling bad. So my parents definitely is uh, one of my biggest push factor in real estate. Um, uh, secondly, definitely the company, uh, Marcus, for bringing me in, uh, our boss, Kelvin, for always motivating me, keeping me in track. Uh, but one more person to thank is actually Michelle, my wife-to-be, my uh, other half. She has been through with me. Uh, she has seen my ups and downs. There are times that well, I might not even have money for my car installment. That was how bad it was back then. So to me, having her by my side actually kept me going in real estate. If not, I might have probably dropped off from this industry already. But uh, thank God uh, for her and managed to pull through till today uh, to achieve what I have achieved. Congratulations. So well deserved. So proud of you. Keep going. Keep motivating. Be a role model. Inspire many other salespeople to follow your path and to be successful. Mm, thank you, boss. Well done. Thank Ken, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I mean, you heard, come, let me, let me just give you your, yeah. Okay, Zaxon is being given the award as a top associate group district director, first runner-up for the month of October. Outstanding performance, Ken, thank you so much.